This is the video review of the JG SIG licensed 552. The body of this weapon is constructed of ABS plastic as well as the stock, hand grip, and foregrip assembly. The metal parts on this gun include the iron sights, barrel assembly, internal gearbox, and various switches. Package will include a plastic high capacity wind up 220 round transparent magazine meaning that you can see the rounds on the inside of the magazine and the components working on the inside. Also on the side of the magazine are clips so that you can link multiple mags together. Also included in the package is the battery charger, an 8.4 volt 1100 milliamp battery, as well as a small packet of BBs. Battery is housed in the foregrip. Simply pull out this front pin, pull back the lower portion of the foregrip, we'll then expose the compartment, connect the battery up. Notice the small compartment for the connection to lie hidden, which comes in handy so that you have a lot of space in here. So you can then put the battery in safely. Please note that the battery cannot jiggle about. It is very secure. It's a very nice battery compartment. It's very easy to manage. Pop back into place and put the pin back in. It's a done deal. This gun is very, very sturdy. No jiggling or rattling whatsoever. It's a very solid weapon by JG. Please note that the stock is foldable. Locks into place. That there is a very slight rubber padding on the rear or butt of the stock. This gun weighs in at about five and a half to six pounds due to its plastic construction. Please note that there are only two RIS units on the weapon and that they are made of metal. There is not an RIS unit on the top or left hand portion of the foregrip. The iron sights are adjustable according to range by rotation. The weapon's barrel is about a foot in length. It's obviously quite short, although JG usually surprises with its high amount of range and accuracy, being that this gun is very accurate and has a maximum range of about 180 to 220 feet at maximum. The top-up system is located here behind the bolt cover. Simply pull back the charging handle. Here is located the cylindrically designed hop-up system. I believe it is to push inward that you tune up the hop-up system. Pull outward to tune it down. Have the ambidextrous firing selector both on the right hand side and left hand side of the weapon. Right now the weapon is on safety. Semi-automatic and fully automatic. The weapon has a chronograph rating of about 330 to 360 feet per second with the .2 gram BBs, which is usually in the margin for most CQB arenas. It's an excellent CQB gun, being that it is lightweight, very short, has an excellent chronograph rating for such an event. Feels very realistic and is very comfortable to hold. Again, it is licensed by Sig Sawyer. It is the Special Ops version of the 5.52. It's very accurate. It's a good buy from Kapawi. I believe at the moment it is about $140.99 on their website. Somewhere within that range. Very solid. It could probably stand up to a very small drop. Thanks for watching this review.